Alan Butler Adventure Vehicle Reviews here at the 2018 Apex SEMA Show. We're at the Ericsson Manufacturing Booth. We're gonna check them out. These guys specialize in cargo management for your car, truck, or SUV. So let's go take a look. I'm here with Brent Erickson of Erickson Manufacturing. I'm looking around this booth. I see a lot of cool product and some new stuff. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, we've been in the cargo control business for upwards of 40 years. I've devoted my whole life to this. And uh, we're specializing in cargo control, tie downs, towing, loading ramps, that type of thing. And we've got some new unique items here at the show that are really been exciting all day yesterday and today. So we were just walking by your booth and we saw all this great product here that we use all the time. We tie down all kinds of stuff, camera equipment, hunting equipment, you name it, it goes in the bed of our trucks. And I just want to learn a little bit more about your company and, and some of the new things you got here at the Apex show. First thing I'm taking a look at is this cool display you have, the tailgate sawhorse. Can you tell me about that? The tailgate sawhorse is a patented idea. I bought the patent off a gentleman and I'm bringing it to market here at the show. It's designed to be used as a sawhorse, uh, cutting lumber, maybe you want to have some logs or tree, you want to use your chainsaw. But not only, it, it fits very simply in the back of the truck with four brackets. All you do is add some four foot pieces of lumber. But let's say you don't want to use it for a sawhorse, with the addition of this little board here, you can you know, haul that long corner post home that you need for that fence you're building. Or you can put a kayak on it. Or you can use it for a tailgate party. It's kind of an entry level. And then we go from here on to some heavier models, what we call our junior and our senior model. And I'll like to show you that as well. Well, let's take a look at those models. The Big Bed Tailgate Extender. Right. The the big bed tailgate extender, it adds about four feet to the length of your tail box, fits in your receiver, and it's good for 350 pounds. Uh, the tailgate sawhorse was not intended for heavier applications like this is. This is more for the weekend warrior. Then we go into our senior model, which is for the professional, and I'm about to show you that as well. The big bed senior is our top of the line model designed for the professional. And the secret of it is the way it folds up. Okay. Uh, anyways, what you do is you uh, put in your two inch receiver, uh, pull this little pin out here, and then it folds up very quickly. And it, see how it extends very nicely. Oh, nice. You, you pick up the, the three different adjustments here to level it with the pickup box here. But it, you get it real level here, then you can load it with uh, plywood, uh, long boards, tubing. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of this give you an idea how it works. But uh, then when you're done, it simply goes back together the way we set it up. That's perfect. very neat. It's got a little handle on it. You can pick it up and carry it, put it in your garage, put it in the back of your pickup truck. So nothing truck. permanent about it. You can just put this into your tailgate hitch like anything else. Yep and use it when you need it and when you don't need it just put it away yep yep perfect and it holds 400 pounds that's awesome so let me close this up real quick and kind of an overall this is kind of the overall idea for all these products that help with the cargo management in the bed of these trucks and especially some of these smaller trucks these mid-sized trucks um, so what do you think in, in your mind is some of the uses that an everyday truck guy or girl can use for this. Yeah, well this is really intended for that, you know, that guy that's building the swimming pool. Maybe you need a, some long uh, corner post. Another thing I use it for at home is, uh, guys are doing excavation, they're hauling big excavation pipe, you know, the four inch white pipe, comes in 12, 14 foot lengths. You need something like this, or else it's bouncing, falling out of your truck. It's, it's just uh, a great item. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. We have more to look at too, right? Yeah, I'm going to show you a few more great items. Let's go take a look. We're on to the next thing in this booth and just talking to you briefly, really great ideas here. Some things that I've never even heard of or seen that I can see a lot of good practical application for starting out with this sliding ratchet strap. Tell me about this. Yes. Uh, well, you know, everybody's using ratchet straps today. They've become very popular. But in a lot of applications, uh, the ratchet is inoperable. Maybe it's, you, can, you can't run the handle, whatever. It's just not the right place. Well, with, the, with our new sliding ratchet, 
it's got a device on here with a switching mechanism. You put it into sliding mode and the strap goes along here. Okay, that's where you want it. You put your, your lock mechanism back in position. You ratchet the strap tight. And then we have a little bonus feature on here as well. It's a little bundling tie that tightens up the, uh, the excess web. Take a look at my cap lock. This is an idea I come up with. I call it my aggravation proof hook. Uh, you know, these, these hooks you hook on one side by the time you get the others fell off. So you got to go back the other side. You hit your shins on the t trailer. You're, you're totally peeved off. Right. Well, with my little cap lock here, there's the answer. That's Don't good. fall off, you're all set. That's awesome. And now we have, this is really cool, the retractable ratchet strap. This is neat. Yeah, th this is likely the, uh, this is likely the slickest thing to sliced bread. Uh, <laughs> the, the retractable uh, has a mechanism inside here. It's got a coil that stores all the excess web. So in this little demonstration deal here, you just pull the strap out to where you want it. You, you proceed to tighten your load. The straps are tight. Okay, you get to where you're going. You, you hit this little red button here and I showed you the operation and how it works. This is a neat little packaging that it comes in. But again, you just touch this little button here and bam, it retracts back in. Just like a tape measure. We, uh, we have them at two inch, 10 foot, six foot, just a A item. So I'm looking at the retractable strap. It's 10 feet, 1200 pound rating, but you make, and even for the sliding rat straps, it's, it's, this one here is at 2000 pounds, inch and a quarter by 14 feet, but there's different lengths, different widths, and different weight ratings, right? Right, right. Okay, well that's good to know, just so that there's a variety out there for your customers for different bed lengths, different uh, styles of cargo management, different cargos, right? So let's go take a look at something really cool in the back of a pickup truck that you can put in. I know a lot of our viewership are really gonna enjoy this to make sure things are safe when they're hauling it down the road. Getting the grand tour of the Ericsson Manufacturing booth here at the Apex Show. Last but definitely not least, this wheel chalk kit. Tell me about this. Yeah, well, the wheel chalk kit is a uh, uh, item that I came up with. A lot of people have been tying ATVs and side-by-sides all down with straps from the chassis to the, to the bottom of the floor. But what we've done here is we came up with some brackets that fit on the floor, and then we use some E-Track fittings. You go over the tire and tie it down, and it does not move. Okay, so the kit comes with straps and the chalk, right? Yeah, you, you get enough, uh, you get two straps, enough to do two wheels. Okay, and so this looks like it's a bit more of a permanent installation, so it might be better suited for a trailer. That's what I'm kind of picturing, right? Yep, so, uh, you'll get a lot of guys that got three or four machines that are going mudding for the weekend or whatever. You know, you put these permanently in your trailer, uh, your red machine fits there, your blue machine fits the other one type thing. That's so. cool, and so these, these look like recreational vehicle tires, like a UTV or something. What's the largest diameter that this wheel chalk kit can Yeah, handle? you can go up to like a 30 inch diameter tire. You could use this on a small sports car, that type of thing. Okay. Is there any benefit to having it permanently attached to the, the bed area of the trailer or a truck? Yeah, it just allows the suspension to move a little bit. Uh, if you look at all the car haulers today, they're hauling the cars in these transports and they're tying them down with the tires. They're not tying them to the chassis yeah, anymore. Yeah, as opposed it's, to the frame, yeah, it's right? A, it's been proven that the suspension needs to move and you need to tie the tie downs down. I've seen some, uh, uh, re on uh, the internet, I've seen some uh, people write in and they've said they've been hauling uh, products of this type of thing for their whole life. And this is the best that they've ever come across. I like that. Yeah. I like it. I like that it's very safety minded. It's purpose built. It's permanently affixed to the trailer. So you know it's gonna be rugged. And then it also helps keep your machines, your cargo long lasting. Cause it's not tied down to the frame and everything's jarring and all the electronics and stuff on these rough dirt washboard roads is gonna allow the suspension for your quad, your UTV to do its work to keep things long lasting, right? Brent, thank you so much for showing me this great booth. All your excellent product at Ericsson Manufacturing. I learned a lot, not only about cargo management, but just how much innovation goes in these products and how much thought goes in them, because there's some really good ideas out here. Where can people go to find out more information about Ericsson Manufacturing? 
Why don't you just visit our website, ericksonmfg.com. We have a full listing on there of all our distributors and retailers that carry our product line. I'm Alan Butler with Adventure Vehicle Reviews. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.